Hey everyone, in today's video, we're going to explore Nux.js modules. Sometimes you just don't know which modules we have, which ones you can use in your project. How, is, how can you find them? Is there a place where you can just go to and see what modules we have? Yes, there is. It's called modules.nuxjs.org. So on this website, you can scroll through 145 modules. Pretty cool, eh? 8.4 million downloads in the last 30 days and 89 amazing maintainers. So literally you can scroll down to your heart's content and see all the modules that we have. Now, if you already know what module you want, you can use the search feature. For example, we could search for Cloudinary and we can see we have a Cloudinary one. So we could like click on that directly and it will open the documentation for that module. So we can learn more about how to use it and how to set it up. Now we also have, I'm just gonna clear this filter and you can see we have other filters here already set up for you. So you can click on analytics and you can see what ones we have or CMS, for example. And actually, if you scroll down, we have quite a few CMS modules. Now you might think, I don't know which one to use. So we've kind of made it easier for you by also adding a filter so that you can sort by the download. So you can say how many downloads it's had, content has had the most at the moment and the lowest is, is this one. So maybe I'm not gonna use the lowest. Maybe I'm gonna use the highest amount of downloads or maybe I'm more interested in the stars. How many people have given this a star? So this one is the most starred and what's the lowest starred? Yeah, so like literally you can like filter away and that will make it a lot easier for you to be able to choose the module that you want. So when you come to the find the particular module you want, you can see, um, okay, so this one's got 47.3 thousand NPM downloads. This one's got 13,000. So, you know, that's kind of not bad. And this one's got 1,100 stars and this one's got 126 stars. So not saying that content is better than Prismic. I'm just saying that you can actually filter them and check out and see which ones. Now you can also see the maintainers. So you can see this one is being maintained by Benjamin Kanak and this one by Atanux, which is Sebastian. But if you look here, you can also see that this is also maintained by Sebastian, by Lindbergh and by James Pegg. And if you wanted to know more about these, you could literally like click on the author and it will open up their GitHub page. So you can see what they've been working at, what they've been doing. You can also click on here and then you can go directly and you can give them more stars if you wanna give more stars to that project. And of course, you can click on the NPM page, which will open up the NPM one. So the best one, of course, clicking, getting the documentation so you can read more about it. And I think once you've read more about the actual module, it will be easier for you to make your decision on which one you should choose, um, which one is easy to install, what it gives you, what features you get, etc. And you can check out the videos if they have them and the demos, etc. So all this information is, is just right here. And literally you can just keep clicking away and you can see how many other things, database, we've got Firebase there, we've got date, we've got deployment, we've got dev tools, we've got e-commerce, fonts, we've got image, we've got libraries, monitoring, payment, performance, we got request, we got S search engine optimization, security, and we've even got UI. So I mean, there's so much to choose from. And literally all you gotta do is modules.nuxjs.org and down the bottom, if you don't know anything about uh, Nuxjs modules and you want to create your own one for some project that you're using or something that you have and you want to add here, then you can just uh, you can click on this link and you can learn more about it. That will open up the documentation on modules. And um, there is documentation about writing your own module, so you can learn how to do that. And if you already have a module created and you want to share it with the world, then you can contribute on GitHub to this project. Just click here and you can submit your module and uh, we can check it out and add it to the site. So really, really exciting. It's a absolutely great fun exploring modules with Nuxt. So yeah, get exploring and start adding those modules to your site. Thank you very much, everyone.